What's up YouTube? I'm Mike with First Aid Exotics back with another video. Um, today's video is going to be an egg cutting video. Uh, I don't have no mail this time on this video to open up with stickers. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, this clutch here was a Butter Ghost to a OD HGW, which is a hidden gene warmer. Um, I think she also has pastel in her. Um, hopefully this will let us know for sure if she has pastel. As you can see, I don't know if the camera's picking this up or not. We do have one little boo bag. Um, we ended up getting four eggs, two slugs. Uh, one of the uh, eggs did go bad, which was connected to this little boo bag and started making it go bad, but a uh, little foot powder and uh, it stopped this one from going bad. So we only have three eggs. I'm trying to hit a OD Soul Sucker. Um, our last clutch, not our last clutch, two clutches before this, we had a Soul Sucker, an OD Soul Sucker clutch, um, but we weren't able to tell if we hit the OD Soul Sucker or not, so hopefully in this clutch we'll be able to tell. So let's go ahead and get started. And my daughter wants to start off with the smallest one first. So, let's go ahead and see. I'm uh, hoping everything is okay with this egg. I don't see why it wouldn't. But you never know. I definitely feel the snake in there, so... I think I might cut this one a little different. Definitely a snake. See if this mold gold comes true. Okay. Let me cut this a little more because this snake definitely looks white. And I know the mother couldn't have retained sperm because this female is a first-time mom. So I'm going to... <laughs> I'm definitely a little lost. I don't know if the camera's picking that up. But that's definitely a white snake. I don't know if maybe the pattern just ain't coming through. Do a little bit more cutting. See if I can make out a little bit of what it is. I'm definitely going to have to wait for this snake to come out of the egg. I definitely think I do see a little bit of pattern. So I want to say I think this is, according to that head, I'm going to say a pastel soul sucker. It's actually, like I said, I can see a little bit of pattern right there. So um, I think that's what it is. Maybe it's the OD, a pastel OD soul sucker. Because it is really, really clean. But definitely a beautiful snake. Let's go to the next one. Okay. So if that's the snake that uh, I'm hoping to hit, Austin's Mold Gold definitely came true on that one. Because there's definitely a good amount of mold. My daughter picked this one. So, let's go ahead. Okay. 
let's see what we get here. Oh, by the way, every uh, one of these babies will be 100% het for ghost. Because, like I said, the dad was a butter ghost. So all the babies will be het for ghost. And she... I'm about 100% positive. Or maybe not. <laughs> I definitely know that this is a orange dream. It could be an orange dream... Hidden Gene Wama. But that definitely looks OD to me. I don't know if the camera's picking that up or not. But, um... A lot of beautiful blushing on it. But definitely at least an orange dream. 100% het for Ghost. My daughter's picking this egg, the very last one. So I don't know which one else I could have cut, but you know. <laughs> Got a little window on it, you know, for Austin wanting to do that hashtag window. Hashtag mold gold. <laughs> so hopefully this one will be another soul sucker. Okay. And all right. Awesome. This is definitely a soul sucker. Let me make it a little bit bigger of a window here. And I'm almost 100% positive this is an OD soul sucker. Because this baby is orange. I hope the camera is picking this up. We have a OD soul sucker. 100% het for ghost. That thing is gorgeous. I don't know if you if the camera's picking up the contrast. And the orange is coming to the sides. The only thing that can make this right here better is if this is a female. Because if it is, this little girl is definitely staying here. That is gorgeous. Okay. Unfortunately, that's the last egg. Okay, we're going to do a recap. Um, we do have a little issue. Unfortunately, if you all watched uh, my one video about the uh, dark side of breeding, this white snake here where I couldn't figure out why I was producing a white snake. As we were finishing up cutting the last two, it did move a little bit. Um, it does have a little bit of pattern here, so it definitely ain't a blue-eyed Lucy, but it moved enough to where I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up or not. But if I move that egg, you can see the front of it, the snake's nose is not fully developed. So unfortunately, I don't know if it was because where the egg was so small, usually you would get a smaller snake. In this case, the egg's so small, it's a full-size snake, so I'm assuming it didn't have the room to fully grow, but the rest of the tip of it, uh, its nose did not form. So we'll wait to see if it crawls out of the egg to see what happens. Um, unfortunately, this is just something that happens when you're breeding. Um, this year, we've definitely had uh, quite a few that's happened like this. It's been quite a few years since we've had anything and all of a sudden this year we've had I think total of like five snakes that it's happened to this year which is not too bad with all the amount that we breed but 
you know, still, I, I really don't like producing these. It really sucks. But, unfortunately, there's nothing we can do. This one here. I'm definitely thinking is, let's see if the camera can get it. This is either an orange dream or an orange dream hidden gene wama, which I'm definitely leaning towards the orange dream hidden gene wama because that's definitely not uh, normal orange dream markings and side patterns. So I definitely think that's an orange dream hidden gene wama. And then our last egg, which we were lucky enough to hit what I was wanting to hit, which is the OD Less Our Butter Hidden Gene Wama, which is the OD Soul Sucker. All these are 100% het for ghost. So, again, hopefully this will be a female so we can hold this one back. This is definitely a stunner. Again, a OD Soul Sucker. 100% het for ghost. So what did you all think about that uh, egg cutting? Uh, I'm happy that I got to hit what I was trying to hit, which was the OD Soul Sucker 100% het for ghost. Um, it was a little disappointing when I seen that uh, little egg and that guy moved his head and I noticed that um, his nose wasn't all the way formed. That was a big bummer, um, you know, like the video I did before, you know, the dark side of breeding. Um, if you ain't seen that uh, video, I'll try to link it up here somewhere so uh, you can check it out. You know, it's just the kind of things that happen when you're breeding, especially the bigger and bigger you get and the more and more you're breeding, that kind of stuff happens. Unfortunately, uh, it definitely sucks. Um... I've checked my incubator temps, I've checked everything uh, over and over again, and nothing has been off, nothing's been wrong, so it's definitely just, unfortunately, one of them things. Um, I definitely think it was because the egg was so small and the baby was so big, it just didn't have the room to grow all the way. Um, most of the time when you see a little egg like that, usually it's a small baby inside, and they're perfectly fine. So when you get an egg like that and the baby's a full-size baby, of course, you're going to run into problems, unfortunately. But, you know, it is what it is at the end of the day. We'll know more once it crawls out of the egg. Um, I do uh, want to ask, I've been hit up by a couple people uh, that's wanting me to do some videos on snakes that I have available. So comment down below and let me know if uh, you would be interested in me doing a video. Um about snakes that I, I have available. Let me know if you'd like me to do that or not. Uh, don't forget to, uh, about our 500 subscriber giveaway. Um, we're getting close, but we still got uh, a little bit more to go. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, hit the bell for, uh, that way you get notified every time uh, I upload a video, you get notified. Comment down below on some things that you'd like to see, and I'll see you next time.